Tonight, an update on our investigation into how a local charity spends its money. Board members for the East Tennessee Lions Eye Bank met for almost three hours tonight in Powell. 10 News investigative reporter Grace King was at that meeting. Grace, walk us through what you've learned. On Thursday morning, we were told the board planned to hold its quarterly meeting at the Powell Lions Club at 6 p.m. And I told executive director Valerie Stewart we planned to be there. She told me it would not do any good because after the stats and minutes are approved, only board members can stay. She went on to say we have her word. ETLEB does not want negative publicity and change has happened. She wouldn't elaborate on those changes, so our team showed up at 530 and no one was there. Around 6 p.m., we were alerted that it had moved to the Powell Presbyterian Church. I asked Stewart why the change of venue. She said they thought it would be safer given everything that's happened and that some board members don't feel comfortable around now former board member Brandon Johnson, and they were worried he might show up. She showed me years of conflict of interest statements and talked about the work the iBank has done. They said the rest of the meeting was off the record, wouldn't allow me to take notes, and told me I had to leave before the financial discussion began. Two other guests were allowed to stay. Stewart said it's because they were former board members or lions. We're not sure what happened, but we'll let you know as soon as we do. In Powell, I'm Grace King reporting.